Continuing our team coverage, what happens to all of that water as it starts flooding in? Yeah, now, we all know we need water in our lakes, our reservoirs. So does that mean it's wasted? Daniel Woodruff got some answers for us today. Daniel? Well, Mark and Heidi, the short answer is no. State officials say even floodwaters can get to where they need to go. But as these sandbags here in Sugar House suggest right behind me, getting to that point can be very painful. Emigration Creek looks more like a river in Juliana Grosskost's backyard. It's moving very swiftly for the last few days. We met her and her adorable 165-pound Newfoundland huckleberry in Sugar House, right where crews are working to manage any further flooding. A lot of volunteers and sandbags helped us stay dry, so thank goodness. Flooding came fast last week, showing just how much water we have in our mountains. Water we desperately need. Is flood water wasted? No, um, especially in the Great Salt Lake watershed, this flood water is not wasted. Joel Ferry, head of the Department of Natural Resources, says even flood water gets to where it needs to go. It'll make it down through the rivers and actually into Great Salt Lake. The lake hit historically low levels last year, but so far this year it's risen more than three feet, with several more expected. That's in addition to recharging our aquifers, which hold groundwater, and our reservoirs. At the end of this year, we're going to see most of the reservoirs in the state of Utah at full, at 100% capacity, you know, or 90% plus. Juliana hopes for no more flooding by her, but if there is, she believes that water will eventually end up where it needs to. It's definitely coming down and going right back into that river, so it is diverting back to where it should be. Via your backyard. Via my backyard, that's right. <laughs> now, if you see any clogged culverts or drains, storm drains, the state recommends calling your city or your county and reporting that so that they can get cleaned out. They say that will make a big difference in preventing more flooding as more water starts moving. Live in Sugar House, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.